Okay, this is going to be a brief uh, video on one of my techniques of language learning, the use of flashcards. You can see what I have here is actually a little booklet of flashcards that I prepare myself. The language is Nahuatl, which is it's actually classical Nahuatl. It's a dead language, uh, so to speak. Uh, it's a Nahuatl which was spoken in the times of, of uh, Montezuma and Hernán Cortés. It's not actually what's, what's spoken today in Mexico. That's why I say it's a, a dead language. But it, it's probably the best starting point for learning the different uh, dialects. Anyway, that is not the point. The point is uh, my method, and this is a word, but we could go phrasal. Many of these are, uh, well, this would be phrasal. Okay, we have a a phrase there in uh, the Nahuatl language, and the English is on the back. What does it say in the uh, English? Let's not bother, bother with that. Uh, but uh, for me, this is an organic way of learning. This is why I want to stress. Uh, why do I say organic? Why do I say this is an organic way of learning? Because I can. I'm a, a great uh, lover of nature. I like being outdoors. Let's just say I'm an outdoors person. I don't like going being outdoors with things connected to my ears uh, because I want to hear the sounds of, of nature. Okay, so I, I, there's all these places where um, where I can go hiking on campus and around campus here and uh, I can always take these with me and listen to the sounds of nature, uh, the birds and so forth. We have a, a wonderful variety of avian species down here and at the same time I can repeat these ceaselessly to myself uh, until finally these words or phrases become part of me. They're, they're finally ingrained to the point where they become uh, unforgettable. They're in my long-term memory. So that's just uh, for those who are curious about how I learn languages, this is one method that says, Wits in Nikan Tikate.